All right, and we have begun. Hey, everybody. Uh, hanging out with Lolly tonight over at her place. She is in uh, the lavender beds, as you can see. Uh, Ward 7. Nice little plot. She says her yard sucks, but I don't believe her. <laughs> um, we've got uh, an autumnal uh, ginkgo tree, like uh, the one that uh, we've got there in the yard. Uh, in the mist that comes out of Aquapolis again. Cook night fire there. A couple of the happy little pink fluffy trees that I love so much. Uh, one of the things that we don't have uh, in the yard too often here, the, the pretty morning glories, uh, the vine baskets, these are really pretty. Uh, one of the things that I like the most about the lavender beds is that you don't have to have a lot of decorations in the yard. Uh, because the surroundings are so pretty anyway with all the little flowers and whatnot. <laughs> Couple little stacks of firewood and we got uh, the maple tree also from Aquabolus. Let's go on inside. I'm excited, Lolly. <laughs> I actually had uh, someone come and do this house for me because, like, I had it empty for so long and I couldn't figure out what actually to do yeah. with it. Well, they helped you do but it. My, my other house I decorated, uh, decorated myself. Okay. <laughs> this, is, this is the one that I had help with. This is one that you were like, dude, seriously, what am I going to do? Same it was thing. The first, it was uh, the, the first house. And I used, used to share it with someone, and there used to be like a demon wall uh, where the uh, mender and the supplier are. Oh, okay, yeah. Just kind of hanging on the wall and had its uh, arms kind of over their shoulders like, hey, buddy, how you doing? <laughs> You're doing your job, right? Because if you're not doing your job, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eat you. Um, yeah, but this is uh, always pretty. I love the marble floor. Um, oh, yeah, and it's the um, alpine wall, I think. Alpine wall. Alpine. It's another one of my another. favorites. Um, shows off really nicely in, like, a, a small or in a room. Um it just makes you feel like you're in a dungeon if uh, <laughs> if you're in a large or a medium. So I, I love these in a, in a small, though. These are always great. Very classy. Um, we have the uh, oriental round table and a little uh, happy uh, tree there, a little, little ginkgo tree. And we've got bonsai the, tree. Bonsai, that's my word. Um, and another deluxe and fireplace. A lot, lot of um, um, a manor fireplace, couches, yes. seat, uh, bookshelf. We love it. So much farming for the wax. Yes, I was that's uh, doing the, that the other that's night. That's the hard part of the uh, manor furniture. Yeah, if you don't want to spend 78k gil on it, so... <laughs> The mahogany door here to go downstairs. I got my own little. I forgot to change out the the pole, so it's still Christmas. It's still <laughs> a Christmas pole. I keep meaning to change it, but then I forget. Oh, it's all right. It does fit really nicely in the uh, in the glade couch. It's uh, Christmas all year round down here. <laughs> Where's my presents? This really nice. Got is this the uh, bisque flooring? And I've got like a little secret nook here. Ah. Old books and a little random Riviera chair. And the glade floor lamp, another of my favorites. Especially when I found out that like you know the housing people sold them. That was great, because it's like, you mean I don't know oh, how to craft it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I was, I was mad. 
<laughs> because they they did it um, pre pretty much like right after I had finished decorating my my second house. Oh yeah. yeah. And so it's just like okay, I just spent millions of gil on this house, and I could have done it for way cheaper. Yeah. And, and then it kind of sucks too because, like, um, if, if you're um, a beginner crafter like me, because <laughs> I don't do much of it on this character, mm -hmm. but um, like you're just kind of like getting into the hey, I can make my own furniture, or like hey, I can sell it, and then you go to sell it, and like you figure out that. The NPCs now sell it. Yeah, for cheaper. For, like, way cheaper, and you don't get, like, that little tax that the market, prey, market board uh, kind of automatically tax on. Yeah. Yeah. And it's nice when you mass decorate, but when you're trying to make some go on the side there, <clears throat> not so great. Now, I oh, yeah. Say like, the, just to get the... Uh, poncho I'm wearing, I had to, I did enough Aquapolis where it was, I don't want to do this anymore. It has lost its appeal. I don't care how much gill I'm getting, it has <laughs> lost its appeal. Yeah. <laughs> just, just to get the wool top. I've only ever gotten two. Only ever. And I sold the first one for like, I think it was like five million. And then after that, I sold the next one for one million. And I was like, oh, you mean if I had two of them, I could make this cool poncho? Damn. Oh, yeah. And I got, <laughs> I had the um, uh, stuff to, some mats to make the uh, New World gear or whatever. Yeah. Two. And I, I, put it up on the market board, but I had to keep, like, dropping the price, like, dropping the price down. Yeah. And eventually it was just like, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, because it's, like, so inexpensive. Now, it went from, like, 13 million gil down to, like, less than 500,000. Oh, man, I'm gonna have to go ahead. In, like, less than a week, and I was, I was mad. Greedy. People are greedy. I can understand dropping it by a couple hundred thousand, maybe, for something that's multi-million, but, you know, once you start getting down into, well, it's no longer even a million, Gil. Stop cutting the prices, guys. It's going to sell. <laughs> but, uh... Not everyone wants that. <laughs> <laughs> what's, uh, what's cool about this spot right back here is that because of this divider and because of these two pillars, you made this space look a lot bigger than it really is. Yeah, um, I'm really happy with, um, how it turned out. I don't know if she's on much anymore, or at all. Um, Maybe when Storm probably not. Comes back out. <laughs> I don't really see her on much anymore, but she... She decorated my house and everything. I mean, I added, like, two little pieces, like, the little desk and the little hidden reading corner there. Yeah. But that, that was about it. Everything else was, like, all her, all my direction. Like, okay, here's kind of an image that I want of it. And she just went with it. And she went crazy. Well, it looks it looks great, Lolly. Thank you for letting me come out and take a look at this. Um, are you planning on doing anything else after Stormblood comes out? Because they're going to double our uh, housing slots. Are you going to add more decorations? Um, maybe some more some plants down here. I'm not sure. Uh huh. Um, I'm not sure about this house specifically. Maybe like. I don't know, something, maybe a, maybe another light or something, just to kind of, like, brighten up the, uh, stairwell. Yeah. And what's, uh, what's nice is, uh, with the fireplace in the corner there, you can kind of 
uh, just like walk uh, to the side or whatever and just kind of like glitch out to the point where you can then uh, sit in front of the fireplace instead of your character automatically moving to one of the uh, sofas. Oh yeah, okay. And so then you're like literally sitting in front of the fireplace instead of, you know, sitting beside it on the sofas. Right. And it's yeah. really nice. I mean, your character does kind of like uh, get slightly absorbed into the carpet there, <laughs> but it's it's basically like part of your feet, part of your hands, kind of thing, depending on the position they're sitting in. Uh huh. But other than that, it's like. Great. Well, one of the, one of my thing, one of the things that I like doing that's uh, kind of funny is uh, with the Glade canopy bed. If uh, you uh, you can glitch out and everything, <laughs> furniture glitch or whatever, and you can essentially just like stand in the middle of the the giant bed. And it's just like you ever feel like you're part of the furniture. <laughs> Awesome. Alright. Uh, I've taken a few screenshots where it's just like, and I'd be on like a uh, scholar or something, and it's like, oh hey, it's a uh, spell gone wrong. Well, thank you so much for sharing your house with us today, um, guys. If yeah. you uh, like what you see, and I'll probably come back out here, uh, like and subscribe. Give us a shot there. Uh, Hyperion Vision, also the Alliance of Hyperion. This is Abby. You guys have a great night, and thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.